Well, hello there, YouTube. Please, please, please subscribe before you get into the rest of this video. This is the second time I'm actually filming the video because I've realized that I was rambling a lot in the previous video and everything was just all over the place. So, and I've been like holding off on filming this video for a while now because every time I talk about my achievements in the modeling industry or the entertainment industry for that matter, everyone starts to think that I'm bragging or I think too highly of myself, which is why I don't really post about any of my modeling things on my Instagram, except this one time, this one post of my face on a billboard, which is one moment that I'm really proud of because that was my first ever billboard and my face was all over Dubai on billboards. Also just saying before anyone assumes, it was in my billboard, it was for the Buy Shopping Festival and I was just modeling for them. So before I get into the point of this video, I just wanted to say that I'm 5'5", five five. I'm a size 8 on top and a size 10 on the bottom. My body is not even proportionate and I haven't shaved my armpits. <laughs> But you know what? I model and from modeling, I've made more money than the average teenager. And I'm here to tell you exactly how you can do that as well. And exactly why anyone can be a f***ing model. So before I get into this, I want to talk about beauty pageants. Before I get into the modeling industry, because beauty pageants, at least in India, are a huge deal. Like if, you, if you're Miss India, people want you for like movies. They want you to be on the cover of a magazine and things like that. So this year in Jan, Miss India scouted me from Instagram. They texted me saying that they love my profile and they would love for me to audition for Miss India 2020. And to this day, they text me asking me what I'm up to because I just stopped replying to their texts. Why you ask? Because I went to one of their auditions, the very first audition. And oh boy, there were, there were women. There were at least like 70, 70 women all in white tank tops, blue denim shorts, black heels, and lip gloss with their hair down. 70 women lined up in rows. And I don't know about you, but I think that was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. They've made these women look exactly the same and just asked them who looks more perfect than all of these Barbie dolls. Which Barbie, Which Barbie doll, doll is more perfect? There were 70 like perfect looking women and you were somehow expected to look the best out of a bunch of women that look exactly the same. Which I think is bizarre. Ever since then, I've been so off to pageants like fuck no. That there is no way that I'm gonna let them make me look like a Barbie doll, walk on a runway towards four people sitting on a chair telling me if I fit the ideal standard of beauty or not. And I get that these pageants have a lot of like a lot of like political advantages where they get to do something nice for the country and stuff but again that's for clout <laughs> they don't they, these people don't actually care miss india i don't know about other pageants but miss india wants their contestants to be virgins which i don't understand because i'm pretty sure if there was a beauty pageant for men they wouldn't care about his virginity they want them to be virgins they want them to be single they don't want excessive piercings or tattoos and things like that so basically no creative expression but just to look perfect and fit into the standard. From those 70 women, they're gonna pick one that fits into the mold. Anyways, moving on, moving past all of that. To this day, they still text me and ask me why I'm not replying and why I'm not like doing the online auditions. And it's because, honey, I fucking hate your pageant. I fucking hate everything about pageants and I don't think pageants should exist. I don't think anything in which women compete for their beauty should exist. I don't think there should be a Miss India or a Miss World. You know why? Because they're not chosen based on like how creative they are or what makes them different or unique. And they ask them like a bunch of like political questions for general knowledge and things like that just to make it sound like they don't just care about the beauty. But that's not true. Literally, all pageants ever care about is how you look like and how good you can be at looking perfect, which is nasty, like, phew. I'm getting, I'm getting mad just thinking about this. Anyways, now that I'm done ranting about the beauty pageant industry, I need to get into the modeling industry. So I wanna say that the modeling industry is evolving, so things are changing for the better. 
people are starting to include women and men of all shapes and sizes and of all colors which is great which is exactly why anyone can be a model but does it mean that anyone can reach like vogue level modeling or like victoria's secret level modeling and things like that because those models actually work really really hard for their bodies and I 100% I think that they deserve the success they deserve the recognition they're not promoting unrealistic beauty standards they worked for that body it's the brand that's promoting the unrealistic beauty standards because the brand requires women that fit into the standard it's not the women that promote that standard it's a brand you get what I mean Anyways, I've been modeling for like four years now. I model with brands like Lifestyle, Yours Truly, The Atuale, um, which is an Italian brand. I don't know if, I don't know, I don't think a lot of you have heard of it. Dubai Shopping Festival, things like that. Okay. My point is, okay, I haven't done a lot of modeling. I'm not a full-time model. I'm a part-time model. And I still made more money than the average teenager, even though I don't fit into the standard. I don't fit into the model. Like, look at my body. Look at this. Do you see No! That? God, please, no! This is fat. Two hours later. My point is, being skinny is in everything. And I know that you've heard this a thousand times before, but trust me, being skinny is not everything. Especially now that you're in 2020. For example, you pull up an online store and you see the store representing women of all shapes and sizes. And you look at that and you're just like... <laughs> Like, I want that. I want to shop from this brand because they're so inclusive. So that's what sells these days. No one gives a shit about if you're skinny. Maybe brands like Victoria's Secret, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and things like that. Maybe they care about these things, but guess what? There are upcoming brands that are the future that are going to take over the other brands and they don't give a shit whether you're skinny or whether you're tall. They care about your brand. Take Kylie Jenner, for example. She's been on so many like Vogue covers. She's been modeling for a lot of brands. Is she skinny? No. Is she, is she six feet or is she five nine? No, she's not. But why do people want her? Because of her brand. It's her brand that matters. And if you don't have a brand, build your brand. You know why it's so important to build your own brand? Because the success of your brand completely depends on you. But if you're tied to like an agency or things like that, your success in the modeling industry depends on whether other people want you. But if you build your own brand, call yourself an Instagram model, do whatever you want, build your own brand online, your success is 100% in your hands. You can, you can model for your own brand. If, if people reject you, make them regret it. If you're not confident in your body, fake it till you make it. Post pictures on Instagram like you're already on your way to your Vogue magazine shoot. Manifestation, I guess. I don't know. Is that what manifestation is? I don't know. Whatever. In that process, learn to really like what you're doing. Learn to understand that it doesn't matter what other people want from you if you have something of your own and all you need to do is live up to your own standards not anyone else's you get what i mean i'm i'm gonna admit that i've been a victim to these like unhealthy beauty standards i've had eating disorders trust me i've had body image issues but honey if you can stand in front of a camera and be so convinced that you look good that you convince the people behind the camera that you look good that's fucking magic bro <laughs> You need to you need to believe that to a point where the person behind the camera believes it. And trust me, trust me, it's gonna work. Agencies are rejecting you. Build your own brand. Like, pick your own style. Decide what style represents you the best. And build your brand based on that style. Learn different poses and get inspiration from magazines and things like that. If you don't think you fit the standards, then break the fucking standards. Show them why you're better. You don't have to prove anything to them, but show them why you stand out and what makes you so unique and why, like, just put your creativity out there like all of you are stuck at home put your creativity out there put put what makes you unique out there and make something out of it because you can stand in front of the camera and say fuck you i look great and the person behind the camera believes you like you need to be that convincing honey don't just pretend like you're confident pretend like you know what you're doing really know what you're doing really feel confident in your skin sort of like just it's just bad just sort of like transfer that energy to the person behind the camera and they will believe you Build your confidence, build your brand, build on your creativity, help what you can and build what you can't. <sighs>
I feel like I've been talking forever, but I really needed to put this video out there because I've actually had a lot of people tell me, oh my God, Mariam, you're so perfect. You're a model. There's no way you like hate anything about yourself and things like that. Like, honey, yes, I'm a model, but I'm not your typical model. And if I can be a model, so can you. <laughs> And 2020 is the perfect time to do this. The beauty standards are breaking down. When the standards are breaking down, you insert yourself. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. That was a lot of rambling. I'm sorry if you didn't get any value out of this. This is just like my perspective on the industry and my perspective on modeling and things like that. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. Anyways, go follow my Instagram. It's gonna be somewhere over here. I don't fucking know. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye.